Hey everyone, we're here with Mototote and we'll be going step by step on how to install your MTX M3 carrier system. To install the Mototote MTX M3 carrier system, we'll be using the provided Allen key, but to make things quicker, we'll use the 5 8 and 11 16 socket wrench. First off, take your square tubing and insert it into the hitch. Now using the zero wobble hitch bolt, we'll insert it into the hitch, allowing the head to recess. Finger tighten, placing the washer on first, and then the nut. Next, we'll be taking the MTX platform and installing it onto the square tubing. One thing to note when installing the optional LED light kit is to ensure the pre-drilled holes are facing outwards. Slide the MTX platform on the square tubing, aligning the holes. In order to secure the platform, we'll be using two big hex head bolts, two nuts, and four washers. Place a washer onto the bolt and guide it through the platform. Then place a washer and secure it with a nut, finger tight. Repeat with the other side. This step is very important. While tightening the platform to the square tubing, make sure the gaps are closed. Don't be afraid to apply some force. The Moto Tote can be configured to load your bike on either side depending on which way you place the wheel stop. Insert the rear tie down arm into the slot. Lay down the tire track on top of the carrier aligning the two holes. Insert the two bolts into the tire track. Place the front tie down arm into the slot of the platform, making sure the curved section is facing outwards. We will now attach the two parts of the wheel stop. Insert the bolts to hold it in place. Take the short bolt with the lock washer and attach the front tire stop to the tire track. Now that the wheel stop and tire track are in place, we will now secure it to the platform. Using two nuts, secure the two bolts. Place the nuts on the rear tie down arm. Next we'll be installing the ramp tab. Ensure that the curved section will be facing the rear side of your platform. Place the ramp tab in line with the linch pin receiver. We are securing the ramp tab with one long bolt, one washer, and one nut. To secure the loading ramp, we'll be using the linch pin and lanyard. Secure the lanyard to the loading ramp with a supplied key ring. Place linch pin through the receiver. We will now secure the zero wobble hitch bolt to eliminate any shake. Ensuring the head of the bolt is recessed is crucial to eliminating the shake. It allows the square tubing to be snugged up against the receiver. Now that the zero wobble hitch bolt is secure, we have eliminated the shake. 
The final touch is now to install your square plastic end cap. Now that you've completed the installation of your Mototote MTX M3 carrier, now is a good time to ensure all bolts are snug so it does not rattle. We will now go over the loading procedure for your motorcycle. To make things easier, avoid areas that will cause a steep ramp angle. Insert the wrap into the tire rack by aligning the tabs. For ease of access, have your tie downs ready to go. Align your bike with the loading ramp. To ensure the safety of you and your motorcycle, it's great to have a helping hand. Attach the tie down to the front tie down arm. Repeat with the other side. We will now secure the rear wheel to prevent it from bouncing out. The same result can be achieved using regular tie downs, but for this we'll be using the Ace Bikes tie down. Now that the bike is secure, we'll remove the loading ramp and secure it with the linchpin. pin. 